know people right now uh, I don't, have, don't have access to drinking water. So that's why I decided to do environmental engineering and focus on drinking water. Hopkins engineering is challenging. You know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's more um, something that like you struggle with and you like tackle your problems and like once you get out of it, no matter like how hard it was or like how much you like cried or like put so much effort into something, it's the fact that like you you did it in the end. The environment engineering program actually is one of the top programs in the country and, and it's difficult, you know. It's, very demanding and, and to be here you have to really do the work and it's not a joke. Engineering is thinking through problems and um, basically applying your math and physics skills, whatever other skills that you have into real life and solving everyday problems. Uh, I'm actually about to get started in uh, research on a turbo machine which um, studies flow of uh, fluids through turbines and pumps. Um, I worked on uh, making a living cell viral array that localizes gene expression. So you can study like individual cells and how they interact instead of like you know clustering all the cells together. So you can study like uh, the cell pathways, signaling, all that, and just like a single cell. The current energy crisis, that's an engineering problem I've never seen one. I mean, the world is full of problems that engineers need to solve. Um, it feels important, actually.